Hey folks, this is Drew. I'm going to be making quesadillas for dinner tonight. So I'm pre-making my seasoned ground beef. And I've got my little mixture here, and this is something I did myself. I can't tell you what's in it. It's a secret. And here I'm you know, cooking up the ground beef. When it's all done, I'll make a video of how I season the beef. Okay, I changed my mind. I guess I can tell you what's in it. While the ground beef is cooking, I have paprika, salt, onion powder, uh, let's see, cumin, garlic, oregano, black pepper, and allspice. And there's about six tablespoons there to a pound and a half of lean ground beef, which will be drained before I add the seasoning. But I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, here we have the uh, ground beef. It's done. And now I'm going to put in my seasoning. And if I can do this one handed, I like to mix it in first. It brings out the flavor, I think. Okay, now I'm going to add the uh, one and one quarter cup of warm water. All right, I'm going to stir this up, get it really good and incorporated, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, this is what you're looking for. Not soupy, but not dry either. You want to put it on medium heat and just simmer that water out of the mix. And what you'll be left with is a nice, tight, seasoned ground beef that's suitable for tacos, burritos, whatever you want to use it for. But I'm going to use it for quesadillas. And I'll show you how I do that later. You know, it occurs to me I almost forgot the most important step. When I get to this point, and the uh, most of the moisture has evaporated from the mix. I like to add about a half a cup of picante sauce. What this does is add a whole other dimension to the to the seasoned ground beef. And when you're going to be putting it on a quesadilla with lots of cheese and peppers and onions and jalapenos, possibly and then you're going to be dipping it in another picante sauce. You might want to have a little bit more punch to your seasoned ground beef. And here's our finished product, all done. Now what I'm going to do is put, turn the uh, heat off, put the lid back on, and I'm just going to let it sit here for the afternoon, and by the time I'm ready to make the quesadillas for the family this evening, it should be perfect.